Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let me show you to do items in iCal. Now, to do items in iCal are different than events. Events have a specific date and time to them. But to do items can be added with no specific date and time, even though you can add alarms. Now, in the future, in line, these are going to be called reminders, but the functionality is the same. So in iCal I can add a new event. I could just go to File, New Event. But under that I can do New To Do and Command K is a shortcut for that. When I do I get a list of to do items on the right and I'll just name this one like that. Now if I double click on the to do item I get a little pop up there that allows me to set more information. I can give it a priority. I can also give it a due date. So let me set it for a couple days in the future. And I can set an alarm for that to do date just like I can in uh, an event. So I can have it do a message, an email, uh, run a script, whatever I want. I can also set what calendar it goes to and some notes like a URL or just some text information. So notice now that I've got this to do item and it's set for a due date of the 14th. It's not in the calendar though. There's no event there. These are separate from items in the calendar. When I've accomplished a task I can check it off and it's done. Now to do item just like an event is attached to a calendar so you can see by its color it's attached to my home calendar. I can change that and uh, say set it to uh, go to my work calendar and you can see it changes color to match that one. I can also have it be part of another type of calendar like say a mobile me or maybe in the future it will be an iCloud calendar um, and hopefully that should sync across devices. One neat thing you can do with to-do items if you decide they need to be in the calendar you can actually drag and drop them onto a date there and it will create an event from that and then you could just delete the to-do item and it remains there in your calendar. Likewise you can take an event and drag it to become a to-do item and it retains the event there. Then you can leave it in the calendar or delete it. You can sort to-do items by clicking on the top there and you can sort them by due date, priority, uh, just alphabetically. Um, or you can have a manual sort which then allows you to drag and drop them uh, into any order you want. The little pin down at the bottom of iCal right here allows you to hide or show the list of to-do items. Now to be sure there are a lot better applications out there for putting to-do lists together. But if you just need some basic functionality and perhaps you're already using iCal for various things this is a good way to do it. Now we already know that there will be a new Reminders app in iOS 5 for the iPad and iPhone. Hopefully this will then sync with these to-do items or reminders in iCal in Lion. We'll just have to wait and see if that's the case. Till next time this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the Videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.